We got under contract three duplexes on one lot. This is actually like on the MLS, so through a real estate agent. No, I rarely do that, but you know, there are some things that make a on market deal work. One is speed if you're the first to leave an offer. Two is just, you know, some people have a strategy that's much longer term so they can be not in the money today because they will in the future. I don't recommend a strategy like that. And the third way that people get good deals on the MLS is because they're really crappy houses that need a lot of work. So that makes the market much smaller. But anyway, the reason we got this one, I think, was speed. It came on the market on a Saturday evening, which I don't understand why that would be. And I happened to be looking at my emails and I saw it come live. And that means that a lot of people were not paying attention over the weekend. So the market of people who could buy three duplexes is probably really small for them. If they would have waited till Monday, then they would have had like way more people who wanted to buy it. So I think we probably got a really good deal here because of that. However, I haven't seen the property. Obviously, I wasn't going to go there on a Saturday night. So I'm going to the property today. We're in the inspection period, and we'll see if it's actually a good deal. Okay, so this is three duplexes on one lot. Oh, they did say there's parking in the back. This person is waving at me. Let's start with the vacant one. I'm gonna walk around the outside first and then I'll come on the inside, so. Perfect. Okay, it looks like the deck has been updated recently. I don't really smell any water and this foundation looks good. This would be sweet if there was no work needed. So the unit here is uh, 492. Okay, so we can figure out how old that thing is. Nothing really to be concerned about. Okay, obviously used to have some sort of AC or a window that they took out, but that's not a problem. Roof. Uh, no, uh, potential buyers. Do you wanna get in one and two real quick? It sounds like you would prefer me to do that one first. That's fine. I do. Let's do it. <laughs> just because these are occupied. Yeah, yeah. These uh, ones are. Just so you know, he'll cut out whatever you're in on this. So. Oh yeah. I'll it, that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Not worried about this stuff. The inspector will get all that. I'm just doing my quick walkthrough. Okay. Watch out for that cat. I'm joking. Oh, there it is. Oh, Asher loves cats. Yeah, I might uh, get so. a pet or two out of it. I like cats too. She's a piece of like cat. Oh. Okay. No water issues that I'm seeing. Good. Nice. Are we on a slab here? Slab over there for sure. This one I think is halfway slab. I don't know how to get underneath the crawl space. Okay. I don't do crawl space, but I took over. Mm -hmm. This building had burnt. Oh, okay. And so it was a totally different building. So the owner then had erected this and it was just, the walls were up, had mud or any of that. So then we had to come in and I subcontracted and got it done. And cool. And designed it to be a little different than the other one. Nice. Ones. The other one's really nice. Yeah. Well, this is nice enough. Uh, okay, cool. And that's the pantry right there. Bigger than eight foot ceilings. It's always my concern that I go in these places and didn't realize it was a seven foot ceiling. You're a little tall looking. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, everything, everything I needed to see in this one. And that one rents for? She's 17. Okay. Um, she's about 80 years old. Mm -hmm. Been here since 2017. Mm -hmm. So, um, and she's got a lease until 25. Okay. Um, and, and you think that one would rent for how much? Oh, I can get 1100 all day. Nice. Possibly could get 1200 all day. Okay. Um, the current owner's trying to get me to get 13 for one. I haven't gotten one call on it. Gotcha. It's and there was two bedrooms one, in there? One bedroom. One. Everything's okay. one bedroom except this middle building. And this one I know is 100% on a slab. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Hmm. What you think that is? Huh? I think it's flies. Oh, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing right now. She's rolling. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. And she's at 1100. Okay. Interesting. Wasted space. I would make a bedroom. Totally. I mean, because you could close this off right here and make a small bedroom. Right. Mm -hmm. Take that door out in the front. What do you think you'd rent for then? These are square footage. I mm. mean, and where you're at. Yeah. Steve's wanted me to get 1300 I usually could sell, uh, get these rented in two weeks. I hadn't got one. I it's mean, weird. It must be, a, must be a property owner thing where you always want a little bit more. I know. Mm. Um, but he says we can always go down, of course. But I'm gonna say across the board, you could probably get up to 1,200 one or two bedrooms. It's a square footage. This is these mm. are 900 square feet, if mm. that. Okay. Three is at a doctor's appointment because she fell and hurt herself, and then four's home. So if we can get the, we'll go in whenever y'all are ready. Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't All meet right. this guy. He's. Oh. He's my bodyguard? Boy. Yeah. Like For sure. I like saw. I Look at him, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Worst half, I guess. Okay. She's Fair like enough. That. Always looking for, like, issues with water around here. So, I mean, they, like, cut this out. So, I'm looking to see if water's getting on the back. But it's like, you know, you got brick. No problemo. <laughs> Dude, those shoes are right. sweet. There you go. <laughs> You're a, a seasonal man. Yeah, just that bedroom where she locked it in. Okay. Um, we won't go in there. Come on. Come on in. Okay. I would open this, but there's cats in there. Understood. <laughs> That's fine. Hmm. Interesting. Right there. Just the whole thing is an interesting layout, like with the long hallway. So you got a cold air return, or? Yeah, that's got the vent in the floor. Hmm. She got bit. It's just a, uh, you know, you know definitely some and, odd uh, layout stuff was, happened. Uh, is this a door that I can go in, or is this where the, the dogs? Dog if, is, you want, if you want to see it, hold on just a right, If I just, like, I'll put my knee right here and poke my head in there. Hello, puppy. How are you doing you know, there, the buddy? Big, big closet over against this yep. wall. Good, right good enough. Good enough. Thank you. I have bought houses before where I didn't go in one room and I was <laughs> like, oh my God, that was the one. Oh, <laughs> that okay. was the one. That was the mistake. Yeah. I was interested because. Eight feet? I always look above doors. You know, a door is seven foot. So if you got about a foot uh, above it, you know, you got eight foot ceilings. Seven foot ceilings always devalue. I'm always trying to figure out what the property was, like how it was actually built, because this is not it, I don't think. It seems like this was all added to add bedrooms, you know, which, I mean, whatever. It's kind of funky, but bedrooms and square footage rent, so. Yeah, that's all he needs. I see him right now, so, yeah. Just like that, good enough, good enough. Just making sure I literally, like, Oh, and it was like the floor there was no like even no wood right yeah oh, <laughs> right man. yeah total disaster oh yeah thank you you more and then again Ross, well, this is just flipped okay so, yep so like you could get a little bit better view of the bedrooms here Gosh. Oh. Oh, oh. Cute little puppy. cool thank you hey puppy dog that's all i need to see Good enough. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now the vacant one. These are the only two bedrooms. Okay. And then those are the other ones. One bedroom. Gotcha. All right, and we can just go on in? Yep. yep Great. Absolutely. Smells like fresh renovation. I don't really need to look at this kind of stuff because they're going to look at it on the inspection. And fresh, fresh paint. So notice, uh, you know, I really actually dig this, that it's white on white. So, I mean, what they did was they sent somebody in here to just spray everything instead of like painting the walls and then painting the trim a different color. Like it's a great way to save money. And if you use the right white color, it still looks nice. It saves a lot of money. 
you know, another thing I like about all these places, except for those two units, they all have like the tub surrounds. So like tiling a bathroom isn't really gonna get you much extra rent in a neighborhood like this, but having a bad tile job will definitely allow water to get in behind in the walls and that will cause you problems down the road. So I like these uh, surrounds. Okay, good to go. A little different smell in this one. They must not have renovated this one just now. They maybe did it before. I mean, these are nice and clean for sure. So, I mean, I guess it really just comes down to rent. You know, she was saying that they couldn't get 1300, but uh, 1200 they thought they could get. So 1200 on six units is what, 7,200? And we're buying for 800. I mean, really, if you don't have to do any renovations, that works. Um, yes? I was just coming to tell you about that. There was a leak from the dishwasher, and he's going to fix this. Mm. So. Cool. Okay, cool. Well, we're, we're seeing everything we need to see on the insides. We're going to go walk on the outside, and then okay. I'll be out of here. Go zigzagging here. All right. Hmm. This one must come in from underground. Oh, no, it doesn't. It comes in from over there, but then goes underground. That unit's newer. This unit's newer than the other side. You know, there's things like this curb that was like obviously put in later. So at some point they're having some sort of water issues, but I don't really see any signs of any right now. Nothing that concerns me at least. I don't see any cracks in brick. Like there's no signs that says water is hurting this house. This right here is interesting. Well, that's a clean out for, you know, the sewer line. So the sewer must go up, you know, to the front like that. It's odd to see a clean out this way. Normally you'd see it coming out of the ground, but there was like definitely some, you know, odd layout choices that got made. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. You know, I don't really like how it, there's a pit right here. Pits collect water and water damages things. But once again, I don't see any signs of water damage. And it looks like there's an outlet for the water. You know, it all comes into this grate here, but you know, subterranean drainage systems are always concerning because ultimately they get dirt in them and you know, they don't work forever. So, but inspectors should be looking at that. I don't see any damage. So, I mean, this was like some kind of patio back here. So some renovation got done. I mean, this is funny here, how that, you know, this drains and it's obviously not getting out anywhere. But once again, no damage. Older unit, but the inspection company will come up with that stuff. All right, well, so the rent checks out. They said 7,600. I added up 7,200 from uh, maybe that middle unit is renting for more and that's what's bringing them to the 7600 because it has two bedrooms but anyway if you figure out you know 7600 i mean we're going to do some quick math here let's figure 7600 times 12 months and we're going to take out for vacancy at like seven percent we're going to take out for maintenance at eight percent we're going to take out another 8% for project, or excuse me, property management. So now we're at uh, 23%, so times. Okay, we need to take out for taxes and insurance and other expenses. We're gonna divide that by the sales price of 800,000. I mean, it's a good cap rate. So I think this would be a buy. Nice. All right, any takeaway? Uh, way better than I expected. Nice. I still feel like I'm missing something because that's not the kind of deal that you would normally get on the MLS. So the inspectors are in there. We'll get an inspection report back. Maybe there's something that I missed, but I don't see any of the signs that I am normally looking for. Uh, it's just the layouts are a little bit funky, but they're not really affecting rent. And on an investment like this, it's all about the rent versus what you pay. And it seems like the price is what it is, like no work needed. Nice. Mm -hmm.